Hello, my name is Special Superhero, and today I'll be helping you with your basic understanding of Zai. Zai is very aggressive, yet very evasive, and her playstyle is based on harassing the enemy as well as mind games, making her a strong candidate for solos, duos, and trios. So without further ado, let's get into her skills. Zai's base ability is Flame Ward, which has a cooldown in 25 seconds. The state known as Flame Ward allows her to be immune to physical damage for 2 seconds. However, she's still susceptible to things like grabs, silences and stuns and she still takes damages from damage over time like poison and fire after one second in flame ward zai can do a leaping lunge attack which does a small amount of damage to the enemy also knocking them back slightly and is gold focused meaning she cannot be countered in this state unless clashed by another gold focus attack a couple of things to keep in mind in this variation you can use this while under attack one last thing to keep in mind is that you cannot use recovery items or attack while in this state or it will cancel out Flame Ward. Moving on to her second variation, Flame Ward Ignition, she loses the ability to use this while under attack. However, Flame Ward will heal passively and last for 5 seconds instead of 2. Just like before, after 1 second of being in Flame Ward, she can do a lunge attack, but this time it'll cause burn damage for 5 seconds. Now let's go ahead and talk Zai's ultimate, which is known as Chain Scythe. This brings a whole new weapon and moveset to the battlefield, so it's best to memorize it. Her horizontal 1, 2, 3 and vertical 1, 2, 3 are identical, however 2 and 3 have gold focus. She doesn't have a crouch horizontal, but she has a crouch vertical, which can launch the opponent. She also has a jumping horizontal, which has really good tracking when near an enemy. She also has a jumping vertical which, like the jumping horizontal, has really good tracking near an enemy. Before we talk about her charged attack, we have to talk about her meter, known as Ensnared Soul. When Ensnared Soul is fully charged, she gets access to something known as Chain Link, which you can do by holding horizontal or vertical. When these three consecutive strikes hit your opponent, you'll heal for all three hits. Once Chain Link is used, your Ensnared Soul will be empty, and it'll take 6 seconds to replenish. Chain Link is an amazing attack, but without Ensnared Soul, you can still recover HP. However, it just won't be as much, and the damage will be lower. Now let's get into the second variation of her ultimate, known as Chain Scythe Suppress. This variation changes Chain Link, which actually burns the enemy and gets rid of the healing effect. This will leave the enemy burning for 5 seconds. The bright side of this variation is that it leaves the target sitting in place. This would be ideal for duos and trios, especially since this can hold multiple targets in place. One thing to know about her alt is if you use it next to an enemy, you'll push them back. Also, her charged attack and chain link is gold focused, meaning it can only be clashed with another gold focus attack. This also means you cannot be parried. Also, Zai will run faster in her alt and jump higher. On top of that, Zai's Scale Rush is also a gold focus attack, so she cannot be parried. Another thing to take note of is you can parry in your ultimate. Also, if Flame Ward ever ends up on cooldown, you can actually use your ultimate to reset the cooldown. Come out, come out, wherever you are. The last thing to remember about Zai's ultimate is that it does scale off weapons that she's using, meaning if you have a white weapon equipped, it'll be a white chain scythe. If a blue weapon is equipped, it'll be a blue chain scythe. Purple weapon, purple chain scythe. Gold weapon, gold chain scythe. The gold chain scythe obviously being the highest damaging chain scythe possible. In terms of what skills to utilize in solos, duos, or trios, I'd recommend the base version of Flame Ward. The reason I would recommend this is because if you're newer to the game, it'll allow you to get out of certain skills and attacks. However, if you're a veteran of Naraka Blade Point, I would recommend the second variation, only because you know the windows of opportunity to utilize her invincibility and her burning lunge attack. And once perfected, this would grant you big opportunities and advantages on the battlefield. When it comes to the ultimate, that decision is very much your decision to make. Because for me, I'm a safer player, so I would like to get heals when I can. However, if you go with the second variation, your time to kill could actually potentially be a launch shorter. So the question to you would be, would you rather play on the safer side to heal, or would you rather play a little bit more aggressive and have burning damage on your side to possibly burn out your opponent? When it comes to the talents, I would recommend going with 6 Origin Spirit Glyphs for more energy. Then I would move over to the purple glyphs and do lunar agility for less dodge energy cost. Then after that I would move over to the green glyphs and maximize my energy by getting 6 omni mind glyphs. 
When it comes to the blue glyphs, you're going to have to see what you're more comfortable with. I personally go three solar flight glyphs for more grapple distance. And then I go with three solar genius glyphs for better skill cooldown percentages. Also, don't forget to check out Zai's cultivation. All you have to do are knock out the cultivation quest to unlock rewards, such as your other skill variations and ultimate variations. On top of that, you get free boxes to open to get more outfit skins and weapon skins and more. And if you finish all the quests, you actually get a character specific emblem. Overall, I think Zai is a great addition to Naraka Blade Point. Though she is a very straightforward and very basic character, she can be utilized passively and aggressively, thus granting her a lot of versatility. However, this is all the time we have for today, so hopefully I helped you better understand Tarka's sister, Zai. And once again, my name is Special Superhero, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Later.